I always knew that like art was something I would do, but I never thought that that would be the only thing I would do. I thought I would do that in the times where I'm not doing a job. At different points in my life, it sort of elevated to like, you know, this is a hobby, and then this is something I might actually be able to do for work, and then this is actually something that just completely consumed my life. When I was doing graffiti, I was doing that because it was a fun dialogue with the public. With graffiti, it's just more lettering. And when I was painting with the ads, I was using more iconography. It was just sort of taking these sort of existing ads that are everywhere, you know, like, you know, interjecting my work into it and sort of putting it on the street. There wasn't a lot of stuff going on in the streets at that time, so there wasn't this frenzy of like street art. So it was kind of an unexpected thing for somebody to come into this. It's, you know, I think it becomes like a mystery for the viewer. Cause is making work of a scale and of a nature which is highly unusual. And for him to be able to take on this landscape in the way that he has is rare. To see people converging into that space is just a fantastic thing to see. To see a, an area of landscape opened up in a new way, to new eyes, to new people. In a way, they're bringing that piece of land alive. Yorkshire Sculpture Park, it is, it's just different. It's a different environment. It has 500 acres of landscape. It's, quite different than any sort of city context I've been in. And then also it comes with, you know, a rich history of sculpture. And I love, you know, responding to like a landscape or architecture and, um, you know, it could just dictate sort of the scale of the work that I make or the pieces that I include in the show. To have that many of those large sculptures in one sight line, you know, I've never been in a place where I can walk from such a distance where you're seeing a piece as, you know, it's kind of like a pea and then you, you get to it and it's eventually like this giant. The characters that we have outside the sculptures, they have different expressions which people recognize. So you see a sense of shame, you see a sense of despondency, you see a sense of, oh, oh what's happened? And those are all feelings that people have and they're often the feelings that we try to hide but he's kind of revealing them in a very gentle and a very compassionate way and doing it on a very big scale. I've always liked, you know, growing up, like a lot of the work I kind of came into was through magazines and through graphics and skateboards or different things that I've seen and had a relationship with in my home. And so when I'm making works, I try to think of how to operate in those same avenues, how to have the work sort of disseminate in those same ways. And social media is just another, another option for getting the work out to a public. And it lets you have a direct connection with the people who are interested. Having social media as a way of like me, like putting a note in a bottle and sending it off into the world. You just sort of put it out there and, and let it do what it does. He's a really important artist because he's speaking about his time. He's very deliberately getting work out into public spaces, allowing it to, to kind of work there with a very diverse public. And in that way, he's really communicating to people. And for us, that makes him incredibly interesting. You know, I feel very fortunate that I can wake, wake up and focus on making the things I want to bring to fruition. For me, that's, it's, it's all really interesting. You know, I'm thankful that that I'm still very interested in. You know, I wake up wanting to do what I do. And there's things, you know, you go through life, there's things you get very interested in, you put your all in it. And then, you know, eventually they kind of move out of your mind. And um, it hasn't happened with this yet, so that's, that's great. I've been daily with these works, in the gallery for two weeks and outdoors for a little bit longer than that. And for me, it's been really curious just how fond I have become of these sculptures. It's something that um, I've really enjoyed and I love this show.